We just finished day two of the Wood Bioenergy Conference and Expo here at the CNN Center, the Omni Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. I am Wood Bioenergy Magazine Managing Editor Jessica Johnson. I'm joined by my colleague, Senior Editor for Wood Bioenergy, Dan Shell. We had one morning keynote session with three of our industry suppliers, and then we had three technical breakouts before the show closed just before lunch. Dan, you were in that morning keynote session. Dane Floyd led us off that session. He had a really great presentation. What were some of your key takeaways? He gave it was a real hard-hitting presentation on safety and how you can't duck responsibility for it and how you must demand, these producers should demand from their suppliers accountability on safety. He also mentioned that operating to save money here and there, poor equipment, poor practices, cutting corner is not economical and it never pays. Is what Dane Floyd said. He also said, Every time this industry suffers an incident, an explosion, or something in a plant, it's not just that one plant getting hit, it's the whole industry taking a hit. Tyler Player was our next keynote in that morning session, and he basically introduced our word of the day, which was torrefaction, black pellets, steam exploded pellets. Dr. Bill Strauss discussed them yesterday. We had Tyler, who is actually operating a manufacturing plant in Maine that produces the steam exploded pellets, black pellets. He detailed the inner workings of that project, and then that final keynote was delivered by Bajan Shams with Cogent, and he talked about how to successfully implement using a project manager, which is something that a lot of plants right. you know, need to do but might not be doing at, at a third party. And the, the difference between project management and project execution, actually putting it on the ground and getting it up and running. All right, our three technical sessions after that keynote were on a variety of topics. Again, that word of the day, torrefaction, came up in the air treatment session. Um, Andrew Johnson with TSI said torrefaction is kind of like coffee roasting. There's a variety of different levels mm -hmm. of that black pellet that you can get. And he discussed a project in Vietnam that TSI is actually working on. He called himself the pollution control sandwich because then, of course, he was in between Steve Jason with um, LDX Solution Geo Energy Products and, of course, Rodney Shorts with Durham Meg Tech. Did you have any other nuggets? I know you were kind of bouncing around in all those technical sessions. Yeah, if anything, it, it, with the torrefaction and different technologies, it sort of pointed up the whole thing for this uh, expo is wood bioenergy and biomass and pellets are the energy of the future. And looking at the, the what's going on in the news right now, as one guy said, the, the tragedy in Ukraine, we had a couple of people, they can't, they can't get supplies out of Russia. Um, and people in and, and Thomas Smith with Inviva mentioned that uh, all of Europe now is rethinking their energy future right now. And what, what wood power energy and pellets can play in that, torrefaction plays. You're looking at like Tyler players talking about uh, converting coal plants, you know, and, and wood power energy and biomass has a true role in that. Um, and that was a real big theme for the whole conference. You'll see coverage of all of these presentations plus more in the upcoming edition of Wood Bioenergy Magazine.